I'd like to thank all of you for being here today. And I want to thank Keith Furman, the chairman of my inauguration committee, for putting his entire life and full-time job aside to organize every detail of this event. I want to thank Carol Prickett and Joe Bronco and Sam Riggs and the many people who volunteered to donate their time and efforts to making today a success. Thank you to Sandra Smith and John Kerry for speaking today, and a special thanks to Jim Doyle for serving on an extremely short notice as our Master of Ceremonies. I'd like to take a moment to honor former Mayor Steve Capiello and Pat Pasquale, and former Senator Bernard Kennedy, who are here with us today. And I'm also very grateful to our Senator Bob Menendez, Congressman Alvio Ceres, Senator Brian Stack, who is in Hoboken delivering turkeys today, couldn't be with us. Assemblyman Ruben Ramos, Hudson County Executive Tom DeGees, and Freeholder Anthony Romano. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for coming. I am really looking forward to working closely with all of you as we advocate for a better future. I'd very much like to recognize my friends and colleagues, the members of our city council, including Ravi Bala, Teresa Castellano, Peter Cunningham, Nino Giacci, Carol Marsh, Dave Mello, Michael Lenz, Beth Mason, and Michael Russo. We won't always agree on everything, but I know that we can work together because we all love our city. Thank you. people who made today so extraordinary, including the Hoboken High School Band, you guys sound great. Thank you to the children of the Jubilee Center for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And Shirley Dennis for singing the National Anthem. Fire and police departments for the display of colors. Thank you to Superintendent Carter and the school board for making this wonderful facility available to us. And to Christina Anderson for these beautiful flower arrangements and the flowers that I just received. And I want to thank the uh, Hudson County Parks Department for opening Columbus Park for this event. And thank you to Buddy and Carlos Bakery for the special cake that we will soon enjoy in the park. And lastly, I want to thank Derek Ladson and the Fire Dance Squad for the terrific performance that you are about to see. And finally, last but certainly not least, I am eternally grateful to my husband, Stan, and my children, Jacob and Alex. For their, for their incredible support, as together, we rode the roller coaster filled with trials and tribulations to bring change to our community. As my younger son asked this morning, does that mean we did a flip with that roller coaster? <laughs> And to everyone assembled here, I want you to know how much I look forward to working with you over the next three and a half years. Now the work begins. I ran as a voice for change, independent of the old politics of pitting one section of Hoboken against another. I believe we can and we will make the changes necessary to turn Hoboken around, while at the same time preserving what is best about our city. And that is making sure its, its future includes all of its great people. We've seen the consequences of divisiveness in our political system and the desire to ground out our opponents. We've seen how crazy people can be when they think our backs are turned. We don't want that, and we won't tolerate that anymore. I ran for mayor with independence, and I will be beholden to no interest but the best interest of Hoboken.
and I promise to be an inclusive mayor who runs a dedicated city hall that treats everyone with the dignity and respect that they deserve. Hoboken, we have great challenges ahead of us. I believe we will meet them. We can, we must, and together we will. Thank you.